Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio. So glad that you're here. Today I'm going to share with you how to create these triptych art photo effects using Adobe Express. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Here I am at the home screen of Adobe Express and I'll start by clicking on the blue plus sign here and select the landscape size for my triptych photo here. And then I can go to media upload from device or I can drag the image from my desktop which is the option that I usually use. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it and drop it here and this is a photo that I took at Horseshoe Bend in Arizona. One of my favorite spots to have visited recently and now I'm going to share several ways that you can do this triptych photo and you can choose whichever way you like. So this is going to be the first method. So we're going to duplicate the photo i'm going to go ahead and right click and duplicate here and select them all and make sure they're aligned middle and center and then we'll drag the grouped images together so that they're centered on a page now what i will do here is click on the second image here which is on the bottom layer on the right and just bring down that opacity here and then what we'll do is double click on the top image that's the important thing. You want to make sure and distinguish between the layers. Double click. This will bring us into the crop option. We want to be in free form. And then what I'll do is right here at the bottom right corner, I'm going to hover and then hold the option button here and drag. This will allow me to drag it equally, proportionally. And then what I'll do is maybe about that size right there. This is a trial and error here, so I'm going to go ahead and release now. So now I've got the first section of my triptych photo, and I'm going to make this into seven sections. You can do three uh, minimum, but I like the seven, it just looks great. And then what I'll do is duplicate this six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, because each of these are going to go on the right and the left. So what I'll do is drag this over here, and I'm trying to evenly space them out. And that's pretty good right there, actually. And then you can use the guides right there. And then we'll do the same over here to the right side. We're going to go ahead and split them evenly or distribute them evenly. And here we go. We're getting pretty close. I'm okay with that. It's not 100% perfect, but I will live with that. So here's the center one. And then what I will do is I'll start over here on the far right. I will double click the crop here. And as you can see, the crop section is here. And what I'll do is hold the shift button and I'm going to drag the photo all the way and basically align it center on the project here and then go ahead and do that to the next section here. So I'll double click here and again, hold the shift button and we're going to drag this the shift just make sure that I stay centered there and right there pretty good click out here double click the next one and we'll do the same thing it gets a little confusing you see all those images there but you just want to make sure you are on the right one center that and then we'll go over here to the left double click and we're basically dragging the opposite direction we're going to center that and then Got a couple of more here. Double click that last one, drag it over. Again, I'm holding the shift button. That just helps me keep it centered. And then the last one here, double click and voila. There we go. We have everything centered. And lastly, what I'll do is go to the bottom layer. We're going to delete that. Now we've got this nice triptych photo here of Horseshoe Bend here in Arizona. So now, I'm going to show you the second method here. So what we're going to do is come up here to the menu options, view all pages, and we're going to create a new page. So we're going to click here. We have the exact same size of private page. And now double click here and do the same thing. I'm going to drag the photo into the canvas here. I'm going to center this up and we're going to go a different approach here. And there we go. Now what we'll do is come over here to the elements and we're going to go to shapes. We're going to select a rectangle here. And this one is a freely adjusting rectangle, meaning that we can make it whatever size we want. And basically we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to resize this right about there. 
and change the color to match the background, which is white. And we could actually go over. It's fine because you won't see that on the white background. And just make a tiny adjustment. There we go. So now what we'll do is we're going to duplicate this five times. And so we go one, two, three, four. Let's see, we have, that's what we want. We want five. So we're going to start over here on the right. We're going to come over here to the left and repeat this here. I think I need one more duplicate. So let's go ahead and duplicate this one more time. And we got it there. So now here is just a matter of adjusting. So I want to make sure I find the center. That's the center. So we're going to move it this way a bit. And so this one just takes a little bit of time adjusting and you will see the guidelines should adjust to tell you that you are basically spaced evenly. So this takes a little bit of time, but you'll get the idea. And once you have it close to where it is evenly spaced out, you will have completed the triptych photo using this method of adding rectangles to the project and once again when you have them evenly spaced out then you should be pretty good so what i'm going to do here is actually click and hold the shift button i'm going to select all these and i'm going to come up here to align and you see right here we have distribute horizontal vertical we're first off going to align and then let's go ahead and distribute. There we go. So now they're evenly distributed using the align feature here. So now we'll group these. Oops, let's keep them grouped. And now I can go ahead and there we go. Now they are evenly spaced out. So we've got two methods again. We've got the photo method we did previously of duplicating. And then we have adding these rectangles to create the triptych effect, which when we see both, they look exactly the same, just two different approaches to a triptych photo. And that's how you can create a triptych photo effect using Adobe Express. So now it's your turn to give it a try. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified of future videos just like this one. And please share this video with your friends. Thanks again for stopping by and checking out this video. Until next time, have fun creating. Peace.